Now available in paperback and Kindle, All About Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get All About Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. Actor Gabriel Olds has been charged with a series of sex crimes in the state of California. Much. And new at 8 tonight, the LAPD has arrested a man they accuse of sexually assaulting several women. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. And Mike, investigators say the actor used his position in the entertainment industry yeah. to lure his victims. Yeah, Chauncey and Susie, that's according to sexual, uh, special assault section detectives with the LAPD. They accuse Gabriel Olds of using his status as both an Ivy League alumnus, they say, as well as a writer and actor in Hollywood to ga gain trust and dates from victims. The LAPD then accuses him of turning violent on those dates and allegedly sexually assaulting uh, several women. They say a series of sexual assaults. Uh, this happened uh, dating back to 2013. Now, once they made an arrest and started looking into him, they say that's when they were reached out to and contacted by several other women and claiming the same thing. Now, the DA's office did file charges. They got a warrant for his arrest, and he was arrested this morning, taken into custody. You're looking at his mugshot here. Now, I did, <clears throat> excuse me, do an IMDB search for Gabriel Olds. He has appeared uh, infrequently in a number of uh, hit shows, including NC CIS, the Rookie Feds, and a couple of other shows, including SEAL Team, and usually just one or two episodes in each of those shows. So we're not talking about a main Hollywood actor here, uh, but enough, according to the LAPD, that it was able to use his status in Hollywood, as well as his alumnus status at Yale University, they say, to lure his dates. Guys? All right, Mike, thanks. Well, the Dodgers have settled a lawsuit with the family of a man who suffered a serious brain injury. Now, according to reports, actor Gabriel Olds who starred in shows like NCIS and Boardwalk Empire, was arrested and charged with a series of sex crimes in connection with the violation and assault on three women. And according to these reports, Gabriel Olds was charged with seven felonies, including forcible grape of a person who was asleep, one count of sodomy by use of force, and one count of assault with intent to commit a felony, and one count of injuring a spouse, cohabitant, boyfriend, girlfriend, or child's parent. And these charges were made as related to an investigation that took place in January of 2023, when a woman who went out on a date with Gabriel Olds went to the police immediately to report a sex crime that had been perpetrated on her after she had been allegedly rendered un unconscious and after she went to report this sex crime against Gabriel Olds and the police started to do their investigation two more women came forward and talked about incidents they had with actor Gabriel Olds in 2013 and after they started talking about their incidents, the police started to look into the background of Gabriel Olds and found a disturbing pattern of behavior that he had been participating in. Now, according to these women, they say that Gabriel Olds would use his Ivy League background because he was a graduate of Yale University to try to appeal to women online. And as he would go out and participate in this online dating, what he would do is charm women with his Ivy League degree, and then after charming them on dates with his Ivy League degree and his background as an actor in Hollywood, <clears throat> what he would do is then take these women home, and then that's when they would find that this charming man on the outside wasn't very charming at all. No, they would find that Gabriel Olds would be a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, who would put on a polite face on the outside, but once he got behind closed doors with these women, that's where he started to show the monster that he was and allegedly participated in a series of sex crimes like grapes and sodomy on these, perpetrate these crimes on these women and violate these women in, in the most heinous way and had been participating in this pattern of behavior for several years until the incident in January 19th of 2023 
when this woman reported being graped by Gabriel Olds. And that's when the police did their investigation and eventually found evidence as related to these crimes and put out an arrest warrant to have Gabriel Olds arrested for these sex crimes and are now looking for more women to come forward. Now, the police believe that Gabriel Olds' behavior as related to these three women is an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the alleged behavior of Gabriel Olds, it definitely fits the pattern and profile for beta male sexual deviance that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And in the chapters, The Sexual Frustration of the Beta Male and The Sexual Deviancy of the Beta Male, I go in depth talking about how males like this are motivated to participate in their series of sex crimes and the main reason why these males want to participate in these kinds of sex crimes is because these males want to get power and control over a woman because they feel powerless about their state of their lives and in the case of gabriel olds i have to wonder if his motivations for participating in these sex crimes is due to him feeling frustrated and feeling powerless about his personal life after the divorce of his parents in 1997 when his father left his mother for a colleague who was working he was working with because i believe that having to experience that kind of trauma in an adolescence could be the foundation for Gabriel Olds, what I call in the man crisis, beta male anger and beta male rage, and that anger and rage that he had as related to the divorce of his parents possibly led to him entering a place to cope with those feelings I call the secret world. Now, the secret world is a place that many beta males go when they feel powerless about a situation or a state of life and what these men do to express their natural masculinity in some cases their natural sexuality is go to the secret world and as they enter this secret world this is the place where they feel that they can have the power that they want as a man and have control over themselves as a man and i believe if with gabriel olds as he was entering into adolescence he entered into the secret world and as he entered into the secret world he was deeply angry about his family's divorce and as he was angry about his family's divorce he was upset at the fact that this other woman had taken his father from him and as this woman had taken his father from him what i believe he wanted to do subconsciously was get revenge against that woman from taking his father away from his mother and because he wanted to go out and take that revenge he wanted to do it by in a way that he could take power and take that power away from that woman because he wanted to break women down what he wanted to do was basically break women down for the power issues that he saw as related to this woman taking his father away from him and i believe that was led to the motivation for him to participate in the sexual violence against women I believe that Gabriel Olds possibly wanted to again participate in this series of sex crimes and looked to participate in this series of sex crimes because he felt like he wanted to get even with that other woman for taking his father away from his mother and he wanted to go out and do this to all women because in his mind it was those women who were not like his mother that led to him looking to led to her his, his father again leaving his mother and he wanted to make those women pay and he wanted to make those women pay in the worst way and as he was growing and changing as into as an ivy league um individual he was getting the he got a degree from yale and he used this degree from yale as an attachment as he went on his quest with women he used it as an attachment and that basically showed how he had really poor male life skills and poor male survival skills he basically was using the degree as an attachment and his acting career as an attachment to get the attention of women and he did this because he didn't really have much self-confidence because again if you're an actor you can go out and talk to real people but gabriel olds like many cyber simps like i talk about in my book stop simping in cyberspace he was one of these guys 
was going online because he wasn't looking to pursue a healthy relationship with women. No, he was doing things in the secret world because he, what he wanted to do was prey on women. And because he wanted to prey on women, he looked to go to online dating because in the secret world, basically this is where the deviant can basically feel safe about participating in their secret behavior without it messing up their real world life. So Gabriel Olds was basically living a double life in Hollywood as an actor and a professional on the outside. But as he was in his personal life, he was participating in sexually deviant behavior and criminal behavior in the secret world. And as he was in the secret world, participating in this sexually deviant and depraved behavior, he was looking to allegedly prey on women online and by being this charming guy, being this charming guy with the Ivy League education and the high value background. And then after charming women on a date, he would allegedly bring them to his home where he participated in brutal violence and participated in brutal violence because this is how he would look to get power over these women, I believe, to make those women pay for being like the single woman that basically took his father away from his mother and participate in this kind of violence. Again, not to get sexual pleasure, but to humiliate and break down these women. That was allegedly shown as related to many of the experiences that these women had, including him looking to, again, drug one, the, the woman in January of 2023. I mean, for a man to, again, out here and again, drug a woman and then violate her body, that is all about that man, again, looking to get power over that woman to humiliate her. And in the case of another woman, he basically sodomized her. And again, sodomy is a form of power for many beta males. It's a way of basically, again, violating a woman in the worst way by penetrating her in a part of her body to, again, gain power over her and break her body down. This is what this man looked to, again, gratify himself with as related to these incidents. And he did not see women as people. No, he saw women as objects. And he saw them as objects in his whole idea of looking to, again, subconsciously, I believe, possibly get this revenge on that other woman for taking his father away from his mother. I believe that's what possibly motivated Gabriel Olds to participate in this pattern of behavior because, again, when it comes to beta males who participate in these crimes, this is a pattern of antisocial behavior that they participate in, and they participate in this pattern of antisocial behavior for many years until it basically winds up getting revealed. And as it gets revealed, their worlds wind up colliding. And after their worlds wind up colliding, people see the, re the real monster behind this man in crisis, a man in crisis who has depraved indifference to human life, depraved indifference to human life because he goes out and looks to, again, not have healthy relationships with women because he feels powerless in the presence of women. And because he feels powerless in the presence of women, what he looks to do is try to take his power by participating in violence that takes away a woman's dignity, a woman's self-respect, and takes away her agency over her body. That's what males like this participate in as related to their sexual violence. And their sexual violence basically is, again, showing how, again, depraved and twisted these individuals are. And this is the male that they keep away everyone from seeing. And that's what makes them a clear and present danger to anyone who gets involved with them. And that's what makes them some of the most dangerous men on places like social media. And this is one of the reasons why I say people should not go on online dating, because usually the people going on online dating, like Gabriel Olds, basically are not really good people, because good people have no problem finding other people and meeting in social situations in the real world. No, what the people who go on online dating usually go there because they have some sort of serious issue, and that's possibly why Gabriel Olds was going on online dating, and online dating is not something you want to do. Again, here's a guy who's a working actor, 
why would he want to do online dating critical question that needs to be asked and the reason why they go and do online dating is because they need the anonymity of the internet to be able to cover up all of their serious issues and they know that people don't really do much critical thinking because there's when people see people and they start talking about things like Ivy League degrees and being an actor, this basically again, are, are buzzwords for some women who act, re react emotionally. And as they're reacting emotionally, they're not asking critical questions like, why is a working actor online and doing online dating? That's the critical question many women didn't ask regarding this man. But those of us who know what these kind of guys are, we can identify them as the predators they are because, again, healthy men don't need online dating. They don't need to go out here and go do online dating. Moreover, healthy men don't need, don't go out here and participate in breaking women down and humiliating women. No, this is what the, this is the kind of be predatory behavior that beta males participate in. And when it came to Gabriel Olds, he's made, he's been participating in this pattern of behavior until the LAPD were able to arrest him. And now that he's in the custody of the LAPD, he's going to go from a guy who was participating in being the D Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to being Mr. Bitch as he's in that jail with Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, Melvin, and Mr. Sprinkles. And they are going to show him no mercy as they look to trade him for Little Debbie snack cakes, ramen noodles, packets of Crystal Light lemonade, packets of Crystal Light tea, off-brand lemon lime drink, off-brand orange drink, off-brand grape drink, off-brand fruit punch, off-brand apple juice, off-brand Oreo cookies, off-brand lemon cookies, off-brand vanilla wafers, off-brand ginger snaps, packets of Taster's Choice coffee, Hunt snack pack puddings, Kit Kat candy bars, Hershey candy bars, hot and sour pickles, um, beef, beef sausages, I mean, they tuna, can't, packets of tuna, packets of chicken, packets of beef, I mean, Fritos chips, hot and, hot and sour um, um, noodles, and also as, as they're trading him for the commissary, he's going to get a nice big serving of beef summer sausage in the front side and the back side. And as he's being spit roasted by those inmates, Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, and Melvin, Mr. Sprinkles is going to come in after they wind up again showing him a, their good time and spray this dude in the front side and the back side with, their, with Mr. Sprinkles' special sauce. And that's where Mr. Sprinkles will call all the guys in cell block 7D and show this dude's backside as he splits the cheeks open and show it looking like the inside of a Louisiana crunch cake. And that's where Gabriel Olds will possibly reap what he sowed, later than what he sowed, greater than what he sowed, if he's convicted for all these crimes. And after he, again, reaps what he sowed, later than what he sowed, he will, re he will see all of the violence he perpetrated on women after they, after Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, Melvin, and Mr. Sprinkles get a hold of him inside of that penitentiary. And that's where Gabriel Olds will regret, again, all the evil things that he did to these women because what he did was just absolutely evil to these women. And again, motivated to do all of this because of his anger at his father for leaving his mother. And that anger basically will lead to him, again, winding up in a place where his beta male rage took him because he wanted to get power. But as he looked to get power, he will again lose all that power. Lose all that power, again, because he wanted to do evil and do the greatest evil to women by taking away their agency over their bodies. That's what I believe makes him, if these charges are true, a true monster because that what's really scary about him, this guy is that he basically hid in silence for many years and was quiet again for many years i mean we had the me too movement going on and while people were talking about bill cosby for years no one talked about this predator who had been preying on women for years in a pattern 
of clearly sexually violent behavior, a clear pattern of behavior that can easily be followed. No one in Hollywood talked about Gabriel Old. Now, some women did know about him from the online dating and other incidents, but this man went on for many years. And what's scary is that he hid in plain sight because of his white privilege and his Ivy League education. He hid for many years and nobody said anything. In, even in the era of Me Too and believe all women and trust and believe, women remain silent all through those eras and let this guy go on for years. And again, that's the scary part of this. I mean, you have the era of Me Too going on from about 2016 to about 2020 or so, and nobody said a word about this guy. That's the whole scary part about the about the about this whole situation. People give passes to this kind of white guy, but in the case of black men like Bill Cosby, who basically the evidence wasn't clear, they were looking to, again, go on a witch hunt against Bill Cosby, but those same women remained silent about this guy and remained silent for years as related to this guy. And again, that's the scary part about things as related to, to this kind of situation, which shows me, again, a disturbing trend with hypergamy and white privilege, People will sit there and, again, remain silent about this type of predator, but they don't say, and, and again, this is way after Me Too, about four years after Me Too, that this man is was out here preying on women, and the only way it came out is because one woman came forward after having been, again, great by this just deviant sexual predator, and if these charges are true, and they can be proven to be true, this male definitely belongs in prison for the rest of his life so that he cannot go out here and do harm to others and destroy lives because basically that's what this man wanted to do because he could have gone on to become a great actor if he had just again had good character but instead of going on to be that great actor Gabriel Olds is on the road to becoming an inmate an inmate who's just another man in crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what motivates beta males to participate in their antisocial and sexually deviant behavior and identify this pattern of behavior to avoid running into this kind of predator, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com and other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. And if you want to learn why you should avoid online dating and how to identify online predators like people allege Gabriel Olds to be, you can pick up my book, Stop Simpin' in Cyberspace. And that book goes in depth on all of these internet online predators and what they are motivated to do as related to the violence they participate in. And this book basically will show you all of, the, of these predators online and how to avoid them. And again, you can find that book along with The Man Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find it at other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. Now, this was a video requested by one of my viewers. And if you want to request a video, you can send a donation for a minimum of $15 to the PayPal or the Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. And if I can find some information about that subject or I know something about that subject, I will make that video for you going in depth on that subject the way I did here about actor Gabriel Olds and the alleged crimes he has participated in. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.